For the next 50 hours, I'm going to be Absolute eating only what I can control. catch using my bare hands and a spear. We're going to be exploring some of Australia's most beautiful landscape, all with the goal to rock, catch eh? food and survive. Oh, man. This is our home for the night, and just make a cut. That means she's starting to cook. I'm going to see you guys bright and early in the morning. Man, there's been some hard times there for sure, guys, but yeah, man. And this wild adventure all starts right now. We are off again on another wild adventure, baby. I'm so excited for today, guys. We're in this beautiful bushland right now, guys. And what we're doing is we're making our way down this path right now because we're about to set up for an absolute wild challenge today. I'm going to get down there and tell you guys exactly what we're doing. Let's go. I'm putting my backpack down right here, guys. And this is where we're setting up for the day because for the next 50 hours, guys, I'm eating only what I can catch. But that's not it. Every 10 hours, I have to eat a brand new animal or produce. So that's five animals over the next 50 hours. What we're gonna be doing is catching food out here. We're gonna be sleeping in this beautiful beach right now. And the weather, let's just say it's not looking too pleasant. We're probably gonna get rained on tonight. But let me tell you, it's better than bloody sweating like a crocodile in a bloody handbag factory. Cause that's what I'm usually doing. So gearing up, we got the fins, all I have, for the next 50 hours, guys, is this hand spear. Other than that, I just have my bare hands to catch food. There's no other way about it. This is all I have that's really gonna help me. We're gonna make our way right behind us to this beautiful estuary system. We're gonna go crawl through these mangroves and hopefully get something on this hand spear. Now guys, look at this. Look at what we're dealing with right now. It is absolute wild conditions. It has been raining for the last two, three days straight right now. This water is completely murky. It is not looking good for us. So it's been a massive challenge today. It's gonna to be a lot harder than the last few weeks getting food, but man, we live for this type of stuff. So let's go for a little bit of adventure right now. I'm just trying to work out exactly what I'm gonna eat. I need to eat five things over the next 50 hours. Yeah, I can probably get a fish, but maybe something else, maybe a crab if I'm lucky. But what else am I gonna get, man? Now, right now, the tide has flown into this area right now. When it flows out, it creates a lot of these sandbanks. And across these sandbanks, man, there's food that we can find. There's soldier crabs, mud crabs, other small types of fish that we can catch. And that is what we need to accomplish this challenge. But right now, what I wanna do is gear up and get ready. We're gonna go out through this mangrove system and we're gonna try get a fish to start out this challenge. That will hopefully be at least the first fish for the challenge. Then we can figure out what we're gonna eat in the next 10 hours. If you work it out 50 hours, Every 10 hours, I have to eat a new species or a new fruit or a new plant. That is how it works. It can be anything. It just has to be a resource that comes from the land. Now, if you don't know what a hand spear is, it's pretty much just like a little two-piece spear. And what happens is we just screw it together just like this, and it is an absolute weapon. Now, as you guys would have seen in past episodes, we've already taken down some pretty good game on this. So we have already lost one of these prongs. So that's gonna make it even harder for me. Sick one, Wade. It's gonna be hard enough out here and we've made it even harder. They're absolutely bent. We've only got four left, but we can make it work, baby. We're about to jump out and see if we can get our first animal for this challenge. The 50 hours starts right now. We got 50 hours to catch five different species and to survive out here. It's absolute wild weather. It's predicted to absolute bucket down later on. So uh, let's get out there. Woo, let's go. Water's looking really murky, guys, and look at these big storms rolling through. But we're getting out there. We need to get food. Let's go.
we got the flooded. Look at this thing, man. Look how dark he is in colour. Look at the head on the thing, man. He is smiling at you guys. He's just ex as excited as what I am, man. Because he's about to get eaten. He's my food. <laughs> we bloody did it, baby. Look at this thing right here, guys. This is what we call a beautiful flathead. Now you can tell, guys, look how dark this thing is. It's because this thing is living deep up in those mangrove systems, exactly where we were just spearing, man. That water out there was so murky, and I was bloody missing left, right, and center. But there was actually quite a few fish around. I was super surprised. I don't know if you guys saw, but these flathead were absolutely just munching all these bait fish. I'll see if there's any in his guts. Look at this man, what has he been eating? What is this? Oh, look at this. This flathead just coughed up a crab, man. Look at this, he's been eating like a little rock crab. Oh, he's bloody getting more crabs than what I'm getting. If you guys saw last week, couldn't find any bloody mud crabs. I'm getting to the point where I feel like male mud crabs are pretty much non-existent out here. But anyway, look at this guy. This is gonna be beautiful eating, man. This is our first species for the day. We've got the flathead. Now what I want to do guys is I want to go for a little bit of an explore and see if we can get some additional produce to add to this so we can have a cook up later on. And what we need to do also is set up our campsite, see where we're going to sleep for the night. We're probably only about two hours into the challenge guys and we've already got our first species. So what, that leaves us 48 hours to get another four species are uh, to tick off the challenge of five species over the next 50 hours these flathead guys what they do is they bury themselves in the sand and as something comes past what they'll do is just smack the bait fish just like this you can see they've got a massive mouth on them big bucket mouth that just smacks bait fish as they come past they'll just sit there waiting but these are actually one of the most beautiful eating fish. And uh, yeah, I'm super happy with this. I don't know if you guys saw what happened out there, but look at this prong, man. This thing looks like a half-sucked mango. Look at it. When I shot that flathead, it literally just pinned it down. It didn't even go through it or pierce it or anything. That's where I hit it, man. It didn't even go into it at all. <laughs> I just pinned it down and then just grabbed it with my hands, bro. That was wild. They actually got these massive spikes right there. You can see them on either side of their head. And they've also got a really big one here right at the back that you do not want to get spiked by. And guess what happened? I got spiked by it twice. You can see it right there. Oh, let's just say it doesn't tickle, mate. We're packing up right now. We're gonna find some additional produce and then we're gonna come down and cook this thing up, set up camp for the night, and then tomorrow morning we got another massive day of catching food. Alrighty guys, we got our fins, we got our flathead that we just speared just then. We didn't even spear it, man. We pretty much just pinned it down. But anyway, we're getting out of here right now. We need to go find some more ingredients that are gonna make this fish so much better to eat later on. So let's go. Woohoo! This guys, in these bushes right here, there's fresh passion fruit. And they're scattered right next to this road right here. And everyone just goes straight past them. Alrighty, we got these fresh passion fruit. We're gonna actually use these in the fish for the dish later on, guys. We can't just have raw fish by itself. So these are gonna zhuzh it up a little bit. It's gonna be so good. Let's give one a little bit of a shot right now, though. Oh! Dude, there's so much juice in these, man. Look at this. Oh, so good. It literally blows me away that we can just grab these right next to the road, bro. I'm so frothing out, man. Passion fruit are like my favorite. Look at the cars. And it's come straight past me. And I'm just getting all these fresh passion fruit. Woohoo! These guys are idiots. Alrighty, we got the goods that we wanted, guys. They're filled with the backpack. Let's get out of here and let's go cook up that fish, man. I'm so amping. We're actually gonna go to a six spot too to do this. Let's go. We're back in the mango system and I cannot believe it, guys. We got those fresh, beautiful passion fruit that we're gonna use for the cook up right now. What I'm thinking, guys, is I know an easy ingredient that we can find through these mangrove systems that we can achieve at least one more species. And it lies on these rocks right here. You can see they're absolutely loaded with some massive oysters on them and they're just scattered all through here. Actually looks like some really good mud crab territory through there. So what I'm thinking guys is we whack a few of these off. That will make three ingredients that we have got in total in less than the 24 hours, which means we're gonna be doing well. But also, I don't know what we're gonna get tomorrow. 
because we've pretty much gone for all the generic stuff that I know that's easy to catch. So tomorrow, we're gonna be hunting some wild stuff, no doubt about it. Let's smack off a few of these oysters. That will be another species and total three that we have ticked off. And then what we gotta do is we gotta send it up this river, guys, a little bit further. And from there, we need to find a spot where we can camp and cook up our feed from today, at least that flathead that we caught. So uh, let's find a rock and smack off a few of these oysters, eh? You're bloody kidding me, bro. The sun has just peeked through the clouds and we got some blue sky. It's literally been miserable all day, raining pretty much just spitting down and it seems like the afternoon is clearing up and it's time for some oysters, baby. Let's smack a few of these off the rocks, eh? Oh, look at that, that just popped off. Oh, that's a good size oyster. All right, let's give her a bit of a clean up. There's a lot of shell in that, eh? I think I got more shell than meat in that one. Look at the size of this oyster right here. All right, let's smack him off the rocks. Oh, look at that. It literally just popped off. Oh, look at that oyster, man. That has got to be one of the best looking oysters I've ever seen in my life. You guys know the drill. Time to bloody make love to this rock, eh? Let's do it. This thing looks actually really good. Oh, man. That one was way better. No shell in it. Actually just super creamy, a little bit salty. Actually really, really nice. We're gonna make our way up this river system. We're gonna find a spot that we need to camp tonight and also cook up that fish that we caught earlier. So uh, let's go for a little bit of a Sunday. We can also use that passion fruit on the fish, which is gonna be so good. All right, let's get out of here. How's this? Woo, we're back at this shelter, guys. One of the sickest places that I've ever found, man. This is absolutely incredible. What we're gonna do is we're gonna gear up, we're gonna get the fish out of the backpack, we're gonna set up here for the, for the night, and we're gonna sleep straight underneath the stars in this beautiful little wooden cove, little cave thing, whatever it is. It's gonna be so bloody cooking. It's gonna be so good. All right, let's get this backpack off, and uh, let's start cleaning up this fish, because I'm getting pretty hungry, man. I haven't eaten anything substantial for the whole day. All I've had is that oysters and that bloody passion fruit. I need some meat, I need some fuel, man. This is our home for the night, man. And this is where we're doing the cook up. Got this beautiful flathead that we shot from this morning and also these wicked passion fruit. We're gonna actually use these to cook this flathead that we speared from this morning, man. It's gonna be so good. But first things first, let's get into cleaning up this flathead. Now these fish guys, they're actually a flat fish. So they're actually quite different to clean compared to some of the other fish that we've shot that just like, you know, your regular fish. So what you want to do is you pretty much want to find this side fin right here. You can see I'm lifting it up just like that. Now what I'm going to do is grab my knife and just make a cut on a 45 degree angle up towards its head. Now from here, you'll feel it. Knife hit that backbone right there. You can probably hear it. Now what I'm going to do is just turn my blade and just start making my way all the way down along the backbone of this fish. Just going to slowly just make my way down, taking my time and just make my way down, trying to maximize as much meat as possible on this fish. I'm going to give it a little bit of a flip right there to make sure that I get as much meat. I'm just going to make a small cut from the tail and then I'm just going to come all the way up. Same thing, just coming all the way up on this fish, trying to run that knife against that backbone slowly maximizing that meat. We've done a pretty good job. Look at that, that is our beautiful flathead fillet. Some beautiful white meat. We just gotta clean it up a little bit and we haven't left too much meat on there. You can see it's pretty well. A little bit of meat up there, it's not too bad. What I'm gonna do is just whack the other side off quickly and then we'll get straight into how we clean this up and cook it with the passion fruit. All right, you guys can see we've cleaned up this flathead right there. We've done a pretty good job. Look at those fillets, they're pretty clean, man. Now what I'm gonna do with these fillets, guys, is I'm literally just gonna take the skin straight off. Just make a small little cut right at the base where the tail is, where the least amount of meat is. And then what I'm gonna do is just try grab that and pinch it with my finger. And then I'm gonna turn my blade. Let the blade do the work. Just slowly just run this knife along the skin, slowly up towards all that thick meat up in the shoulder of the fish. And you can just see that's just slowly coming away. And you can see, look at that. You don't get much better than that for a skinning job. We'll get rid of that. Alrighty, the sun is setting guys and we have our two beautiful pieces of flathead right there. They cleaned up, there's no bones in them. What I'm gonna do is just slice off a few, 
That was the worst slice ever, man. This knife is so cooked. I'm gonna try slice off a few pieces into really fine, I guess, just like slithers. Slithers, is that the right word, man? Don't think it is, but anyway, you guys get what I'm talking about. Little slithers, mate, like a little bloody lizard. Slither like a lizard. I'm just cutting them into small little chunks. Yeah, maybe chunks. That's probably a better word, eh? Small little pieces. Yeah, that's probably even a better word. This knife is not the right knife because it's obviously got a serrated edge. But anyway, you gotta bloody do what you gotta do, eh? And the reason we've cut them really fine is because we're actually gonna use the acid from this passion fruit to cook this beautiful fish. Now what I'm gonna do right now is I'm just gonna grab this passion fruit, I'm just gonna chop it straight in half. Look how beautiful that juice and everything is. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually just gonna try squeeze as much of this as I can straight onto this beautiful fish, man. Ooh. Look at this, and this passion fruit, it's just gonna sit on there. We're gonna let that acidity of this passion fruit just slowly, slowly do its thing on this fish, and it should hopefully just cook it. Oh, this is gonna be so good, man. We're gonna leave it for about 10 minutes. We're gonna let that acidity slowly cook that fish, and then we're gonna smash it down before this sunset, and then we gotta prepare ourselves for the night ahead, eh? You can see the color in that fish is changing. It's starting to go that nice white color compared to that you can see it's a lot more transparent that is starting to go that nice white color that means she's starting to cook so frothing it's cooking baby all righty guys i'm actually pretty proud of us right now we have caught this fish and we have grabbed these passion fruit and we're out here man just living surviving thriving and it is time for dinner man i'm so hungry i can't wait any longer to try this so i'm going to show you what we're going to do we got this beautiful fish it's got passion fruit on it the acidity has cooked it Let's give her a shot, hey? I'm not even kidding, that is psycho, man! I'm giving it an 8.5 out of 10. The only thing that would make it better, I don't think the flathead is the right type of fish. It's got a little bit of a, I guess, it's a little bit chewy. It's not as good as those trevally and those other species that we've used for uh, sashimi in the past. But man, it still goes hard. Passion fruit is so underrated on fish. Give it a shot, guys, passion fruit on fish, and then let me know how it goes. It is actually that good, I'm not even kidding. You can see guys, that sun has become super bright and that's because there's not much time left before it sets over the horizon. We're gonna hook into the rest of this right now. Man, can't believe we caught this, man. Woo, I'm smashing this down. Alrighty guys, we've got the last piece. We're smashing it down. Oh, I'm not gonna lie, that was actually really satisfying. I'm feeling right, quite full right now. What I might do guys, is I might just get everything ready for the night ahead. We got a big night ahead. At least we got this structure right behind me that we can, I guess, chill in. But uh, yeah, I got a few things to tell you guys. So I'm gonna get ready right now. I just got a little fire started because the sun is starting to set over the horizon right now. And we're just chilling out, man. I really want this fire cranking for tonight because it's just gonna help to keep away all the bugs and I guess just keep me warm through the night. I love just having a fire, man. We're just gonna be chilling out here, guys. I put on this jumper, as you can tell. It's gonna help me with the sand fires and also it's getting cold during the middle of the night so this is gonna help me out a lot. We'll just make sure we keep this fire fueled throughout the night and that sun is getting super bright and that is because it is setting over the horizon right now, man. We're getting ready for a night ahead. I'm pretty excited and I'm getting pretty comfortable just sleeping out here by myself so it does get a little bit creepy through the night and as long as it doesn't rain tonight, we should be pretty well on for young and old. So. Uh, Let's just keep this fire fueled, man. I have to probably be pretty careful, guys, because we've got the fire going, but we're actually sleeping in a bloody little hut full of wood, so we don't want this fire to bloody reach the cave, man, because otherwise we're going to be getting cooked. And let me tell you, that's not the right type of cooking that we want through the night. I'm just sitting here, guys, watching that sunset over the horizon, and, you know, I've just kind of been in my own thoughts for, you know, the last half, to, half an hour to an hour, just thinking about how much my life has changed over the last few months. And if there's one thing I can say to you guys, it's do not stop chasing your dreams, man. If you've got something you guys wanna achieve, do not let someone tell you you can't achieve it, number one. And do not stop until you achieve that dream, man. My goal was to be able to create videos for you guys in new places and create this and make it my job. Be able to do this every single day. And in the next few days, guys, we're flying out to somewhere I have never been before to be able to create videos for all you guys. And I just wanna say a massive thank you to all you guys for this so much love and support over the channel for the last, I guess, eight months. 
that I've been creating videos consistently for you guys. Man, there's been some hard times there for sure, guys, but you know, we've pushed through and I feel like we're getting to where we want to be. So I just want to say thank you guys so much for all your love and support. And um, yeah, man. That sun is slowly disappearing over that horizon. I'm gonna see you guys bright and early in the morning. Look how sick that moon is, man. It's incredible. I'm guessing it's probably like 11 or 12 at night right now. That wind seems to have picked up quite a bit. I'm actually getting quite cold. If I didn't have this jumper, man, I would be so cooked. But uh, just trying to try to get as much sleep as I can. I'll see you guys bright and early for first light in the morning. Much love.